Hello, this is pre-algebra lesson 1-6, multiply integers. In this lesson, we'll be able to multiply integers. Let's start with explore it. A popular beach erodes 4 inches per year on average. What does erode mean? And what makes things erode? Erode, if you can see the picture here, you notice that the sand is eroding away. It's, it's getting um, taken away by the ocean, right? So erode means it's taken away. So it becomes less, okay? So part A, how many years will, will it take for the coastline to erode one foot? So here is the important information. It erodes 4 inches per year on average. So on average, how many years would it take for the coastline to erode 1 foot? You need to know what 1 foot is equal to in inches. How many inches is 1 foot? 1, 2, 12 inches. Yes, so if it erodes 4 inches per year, every year it erodes 4, four inches. So 2 years it will erode a total of 8 inches, and 3 years, 8 plus 4, 12 inches. So it would take about 3 years if we use the, use the information for the average eroding speed, okay? So let's record that. It would take about three years for the beach to erode one foot. There are 12 inches in a foot and negative four plus so negative 4 represents how much it's eroding. Times 3 is equal to negative 12. Let's look at part B. The number line shows, the number line here shows the expected change in the coastline as years pass. So starting from 0, coastline this year. How could you use the number line to show the erosion after 10 years? Every year it erodes four inches. So this is representing one year. Okay, so negative a would be two years. This is another one year. So together, this is two years. So you want to keep subtracting four and using the number line to go further away from zero because it's gonna keep eroding. So negative 12, what's negative four um, plus negative 12, negative 16, and then negative 20. And so that's one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five years. So 10 is, uh, 10 is 5 times 2, so if you do that for 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, you will reach negative 20 times 2, negative 40. So in 10 years, it will erode 40 inches. So we can say there are 10 jumps of negative 4 on the number line. Which represents the erosion after 10 years. After 
10 years, there will be a total of 40 inches of erosion from this year. Okay. All right, let's look at uh, look at the bottom, focus on math practices. What expression could you use to represent the change in the coastline in five years? So instead of the number line, what expression could you use in, in numbers? So starting from, starting uh, with the important information negative four, what do you do with the five? You multiply it. Because every year, it'll erode negative 4, right? So 5 times negative 4 would be the expression that you could use to represent the change in the coastline in 5 years. So we're going to look at multiplication uh, in this lesson. Let's go to the next page. Throughout this lesson, think about how the signs of factors um, affect their product. Example 1. Multiply a negative integer by a positive integer. While playing a board game, uh, Unlucky Lawrence had to move back two spaces for four turns in a row. Wow! What integer represents his change in position? So, Lawrence is really unlucky right now. He had to move back two spaces, four turns in a row. So, he moves back two spaces four times. So moving back, you're going to represent it using a negative number, negative 2. And you times it by 4 to represent the total distance he moved backwards. So negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. So the total change in position on the board is negative 8. He had to move back 8 spaces. So looking at the number line, you can represent it from zero for each jump uh, representing negative two, and total would be uh, four jumps, negative eight. And um, using the expression, you would use four times negative two, which is negative eight. Okay, let's look at try a question. A race card race card game takes six points from a player each time the player hits a cone. What integer represents the change in total points if the player hits 10 cones? So highlight the important information. It takes six points from a player each time. And what integer will represent the change in total points if the player hits 10 cones? See if you can fill in the blanks and figure out the answer by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answer. Okay, are you ready? So, what do you fill in? 10 times what is the question? It takes six points from a player each time. So it means you get a negative point. So you're not going to get a positive point. You're going to get a negative six. Negative six times 10 is negative 60. If you, got, if you forgot to put negative, please don't forget to put negative sign. The change in total points is negative 60. Convince me. Could the product of a positive integer and a negative integer be positive? Explain. Could a positive integer times a negative integer equal a positive integer? Never. Why? On a number line going left, if you multiply a positive number, with a negative number, that means how many times this negative number is multiplied. That means it goes further away into the negative side. Okay? So it's always going to be left of zero. The product will always be negative. So in terms of number line, you can explain it like that. So no. On a number line, 
going left any number of times always always results in a number to the left of zero so the product will always be negative okay next example example two multiply a positive integer by a negative integer what is the balloon's change in elevation in three minutes look at the balloon in the picture it descends 500 feet in one minute that is the speed of descending going down so this this is going to represent descending position which will be represented by a negative number. Negative 500 times 3 will give you balloons change elevation in 3 minutes. Okay, so this is 1 minute from 0 to negative 500. You get negative 500 feet. And then another minute in another minute, you get a three minute worth of negative 1,500 feet. So the change in elevation for the balloon is negative 1,500 feet. So your rule for multiplication of integer is that negative times positive is always negative. Remember that. Don't forget the negative sign at the end. Example three, multiply a negative integer by a negative integer part a you're going to use a number line to represent negative 3 times negative 10 what if you multiply negative times a negative so if you look at the number line from 0 you can you can separate the negative with a positive 3 and a negative 10. Negative, parentheses, 3 times negative 10 is the opposite of 3 times negative 10. 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. Negative of this number is the opposite of negative 30. So negative 30 is the opposite of positive 30. So negatives cancel out each other. So negative times a negative will be a positive. Does that make sense? Opposite. You need to think about the opposite. Okay? This is the same as this. But this is equal to negative 30. The opposite of negative 30 has to be positive 30. Okay? Opposites again is the same uh, or the same distance from zero but on the opposite sides of zero so negative 30 and 30 positive 30 are the opposites okay this is why a negative times a negative is a positive part b use multiplication and properties of operations to show why negative 3 times negative 10 is 30. so looking at the numbers now you can use additive inverses again so negative 3 times negative 10 plus uh, negative 10 plus 10 is 0 right because negative 10 plus 10 will equal to 0 and 0 times negative 3 is 0 0 times any number is 0 so then if we if we use the distributed property to distribute this out and write negative 3 times negative 10 plus negative 3 times positive 10 is 0. We're not changing the equation, right? And if we solve that and simplify that by saying negative 3 times negative 10 plus negative 30 is, th is 0, what makes what makes negative what makes this equation true? Something plus negative 30 has to be 0. You can only add the opposite number of negative 30 to make it 0, right? So this part has to be 30. 
So negative 3 times negative 10 has to be 30. This is how you prove y negative 3 times negative 10 is 30. You have to use the additive inverse. So now that you understood why it works, please use it to apply this in, uh, in these problems. So let's try this try questions. See if you can find each product by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answers. Are you ready? Yeah, it should be easy. Part A, negative 7 times negative 2 is 7 times 2, but you need to keep the negative. So negative, no wait, negative times negative becomes positive. So you need to throw away the negative. So 7 times 2 is positive 14. Okay, 7 times negative 13, you're multiplying positive times negative, so you keep the negative. 7 times 13 is 91, so negative 91 is your answer. Part C, negative 6 times 8. Again, negative times positive, so you keep the negative. And 6 times 8 is 48. Okay, part D, negative 1 times negative 1. Negative times a negative cancels out each other. So negatives are canceled out. You get a positive. 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, so 14, negative 91, negative 48, and 1 should be your answer. Check your answer. If you got all of them correct, good job. All right, that was... Lesson 1-6. Let's summarize the lesson. When multiplying two integers, the sign of the product depends on the sign of the factors. So positive times a positive is a positive. Negative times a negative is a positive. So when the signs of the factors are the same, the product is always positive. If the signs of the factors are different, negative times positive or positive times negative, your product is always positive negative. Please, please remember this. Very important. All right, that was lesson one dash six, multiply integers. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask Miss King in class. We'll continue with the next lesson, lesson seven, multiplying rational numbers in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.